today guys just a reminder i'm doing a giveaway so if you got a chance to win nba 2k19 or football manager 19 all you have to do is follow the link that i put in the description and late november i'll be announcing the winner thanks guys and don't forget to subscribe g'day guys in this series we will be finding out the true value of each position i'll be doing seven different positions goalkeeper fullback center back defensive midfielder attacking midfielder, winger, and striker slash forward. Um, so yeah, how we're going to do it is picking a team with an elite player in that position. So for instance, in this case, we'll be doing Manchester United and David De Gea and replacing him with a league average player in the same position. And then this case will be uh, Jack Butland from Stoke. So yeah, I'll be simming three of the same season to grab a baseline points for that team and then replacing him with a league average player and running another three separate seasons. Um, how we'll be judging it is by getting the average points achieved during the three initial seasons and then finding the difference when replaced. Then that player will be on the, you know, the team with the league average player and those points will be added as well. Um, so it sounds confusing, I know, but it's really, really not. For example, our first series will be, like I said before, David De Gea and Jack Butland. So if Man United averages, say, 75 points with David De Gea, but then averages 62 points with Jack Butland in the second part of the uh, three seasons, they'll give him uh, 13 points. But then when he goes to Stoke and they average, say, like 45 points with Butland, but then they average 50 with De Gea, they'll give them a total of 18 vault points or value over a replacement player. So yep, we'll get stuck into it now. I'll stop it after each season so you guys can see uh, how each play is going and then yeah so see you guys after the first season all right guys end of the first season Manchester United 82 points Stoke City down in 13th 44 points great start for David De Gea 82 points is a is a great um, great total 44 is about where I expected Stoke so we'll back it up another year redo another season and we can get closer to that three-year mark all right season two over manchester united finished second on goal difference 79 points stoke improved on last year increasing their points tally by five 49 points altogether looking about where i thought it would be uh, one season left let's get into it complete it third season down 90 points for Manchester United. Champions blew away Tottenham, who finished second with 76. Stoke, same record, same position, 49 points. So this is what we end up with. Manchester United, 82, 79, and 90, which gives us an average of 84 points with David De Gea. Stoke City with Jack Butland finish off with 44 49 49 which gives us an average of 46 so yeah man united finished with a little bit of a higher tally than i thought they would 84 points of an average is pretty high i don't see uh jack button going higher than that so it's definitely going to be lower um and i i think david de gea will go higher with stoke city 46 is about average so adding an elite goalkeeper like David De Gea is going to make that total skyrocket. So, see you guys in a bit. I'll quickly do the switch and we can go from there. Okay, just swap them. As you can see here, Jack Butland with Manchester United and then Stoke City, David De Gea. Same thing, one year at a time. It's going to be the same season, so the 2017-2018 season, three times. Grab us an average points. And we'll go from there. See you guys soon. First season of the switched keepers in the box. 76 points for Manchester United. Finish second. Stoke City finished ninth with 57 points. David De Gea really making a difference there. Let's restart and get straight into season two. See you guys in a sec. Well, well, well. Man United finishing sixth. With 64 points, their lowest total to date here, and Stoke finishing 8th with 56 points. Still one more season to go to finish off our average, 
It's looking pretty good for the goalkeeper here. There seems to be a pretty big point differential. So one more season, see at the end of the third and final season for this sim. Season three done, the final season. Manchester United 82 points, but Stoke City with 67 points, finishing sixth. That is a massive, massive improvement from the original seasons. But let's take a look at the final results. So Manchester United with David De Gea averaged 84 points and with Jack Butland only managed to average 74 points. That's 10 points right there. And moving up to Stoke with Jack Butland, they averaged 46 points. And with David De Gea, they averaged a whopping 60 points. 14 points difference. <laughs> That's a lot, a lot higher than I thought it would be. That gives him a grand total of 24 warp points. It seems really high to me, um, so that's a lot higher than I thought it would be. But you know, we'll keep record of this. We'll keep track of this throughout the series. We can and see who who has the highest warp. I think it's going to be a striker or an attacking midfielder. Not sure, but I'm leaning towards a striker. So finishing this one off. Thanks for watching. Don't forget about the uh, giveaway and, and I'll be releasing the next part, which will be the fullback position. I'll be releasing that in a couple days time. So watch out for that one. All right, guys, take care. See you soon.